Okay, well, I'd like to tell two stories about Carolyn that I didn't have time to tell when I spoke earlier. Uh, one is G-rated and fun, and the other one is a little more uh, adult-oriented, so I thought I would share it ha here. First is uh, Carolyn's idea of fun and how she approaches parties. She called me one day to tell me she had received an invitation from one of the city council members to uh, join her and her husband on a three-hour tour. And she said, oh, Jim and Porter, they're doing a Gilligan's Island theme boat ride. And I said, well, Carolyn, I don't think so. It doesn't say that. Oh, no, Jim and Porter, it's, it's, it's a Gilligan's Island theme. So Carolyn was going to go on the cruise as a Gilligan's Island character. She wasn't Ginger. She wasn't Mary Ann. You might think, oh, she'll put on some of her clothes and jewelry and go as Mrs. Howe. But that would be too obvious for Carolyn. She got out a pair of white cargo pants, found a blue polo shirt, found a captain's hat, and went as the skipper. So as she uh, drove up to the launching area where the boat was going to be, and she went down to be greeted by a, a boat full of women in sundresses and men in blazers. And she called me up later and she says, oh, Jimmy Porter, you were right. It was not a costume party. But she had a fun time anyway and was the life of the party. Another example of, of Carolyn's irreverent humor and her inability to whisper that I alluded to earlier was when we went to see the very powerful play Angels in America. And it's a, it's a very heavy play and uh, very adult themed. Uh, and we're sitting in a, in a packed theater, a hush theater, a very intense part of the play when one of the main characters appears on stage naked. And Carolyn leaned over to me in one of her infamous whispers and said, if that's all I had to show off, I don't think I'd be prancing around the stage naked. And that's all I have to offer at this point. Thank you.